Hi, I'm Nicole Lavin. I'm a specialist neurological physiotherapist and a physiotherapy lecturer. Today's activities are to help your fine motor skills. Before starting the warm up to this activity, it is very important that carers and family members watch the Advice and Exercises for Carers video. Okay, Amber Group, this is your warm up for fine motor skills. So sitting at a table with your forearms supported, okay, with your stronger hand first, I want you to take each finger to touch the thumb. So the tip of each finger to the pad of the thumb and back again. And then the same with your weaker hand. Okay, so all the way across and back again. Okay, and for the second exercise, which is a progression of that one, again, do it with your stronger hand first. I want you to take the finger and slide the thumb down to the base of the finger. So you're starting at the tip of the finger and sliding to the base. Again, if you go all the way through the fingers and then reverse the direction. Okay, and then the same on the weaker hand. So starting at the tip of the finger, going to the base. And if you want to progress this, you could speed it up a little bit. Okay, try to do it without looking. Okay, we'll take a short pause there to go over the coaching points and hints and tips for the activity we've just shown you. Amber Group warm-up coaching points. With all movements, try to do as much as you can, but do not work to any pain or restrictions. Watch the movement of the thumb and fingers and try to speed it up as you are able. Okay, Amber Group, this is your first exercise for fine motor skills. If you sit at the table, okay, and you will need a ball, or Tupperware box like this with some lukewarm water in it. You'll also need a face cloth within the water. And the idea for this exercise is to put both hands into the water and take the face cloth out, hold it above the ball and actually practice wringing out the face cloth. Okay, so you're looking at that twisting action with your hands. Okay, so really wringing as much of the water out as you can. Turn the face cloth round so you're looking at movement in your hands and wring it out again, okay? When you feel like you've wrung all the water out of the cloth, put the cloth back in the water and repeat, okay? We'll take a short pause there to go over the coaching points and hints and tips from the activity we've just shown you. Amber Group Exercise 1 Coaching Points. With all movements, try to do as much as you can, but do not work to any pain or restrictions. Try this activity with lukewarm water, and if you have any problems with your sensation, ensure that you check the temperature with your stronger hand before starting the activity. Okay, Amber Group, this is exercise two for your fine motor skills. You will need a cup and to sit facing a table, okay? If you have your forearms supported on the table and the idea of this exercise is to reach and grip for the cup, take the cup up towards your mouth and put it back in the exact same place on the table. So for this um, activity, I've actually put a, a sticker on the table so that you know where you're putting it. So it's working your coordination as well. You do need with this exercise to hold the cup as you would hold a cup. So if you hold the cup, like this, that's how you need to try to focus the movement. If you hold it like that, that's how you need to focus the movement. Okay, if you don't use the handle at all and you use the grip, that's how you need to focus the movement. Okay, so for the purpose of this activity, I will be gripping the cup handle as that is how I usually hold the cup. Okay, so you're focusing on the grip and you're lifting the cup up towards the mouth. Okay, and placing it straight back down in the exact same position and then letting go okay again focusing on the grip up towards the mouth back to the exact same position and letting go 
and you want to repeat that five times. So this is number three. Let go, focus on the grip, up towards the mouth, back down, let go, and final one, up towards your mouth, back to the exact position, and again, let go. Okay, we'll take a short pause there to go over the coaching points and hints and tips from the activity that we've just shown you. Amber Group exercise two coaching points. With all movements, try to do as much as you can, but do not work to any pain or restrictions. Sit with your forearms fully supported at the table, and if you're able to, try to sit forwards in your chair. Concentrate on your natural grip of the cup and coordinate the cup position on the table each time. Use a sticky note or coaster to help with this. Try to let go of the cup and hold on each repetition. Repeat five times. Okay, Amber Group, this is your third exercise for fine motor skills. Um, for this exercise, you will need a pen and some lined paper. Okay, if you struggle to grip the pen, you can use um, an elastic band to pad the pen out. And if you do struggle with the movement in your hand and grip, you can have a family member or carer to support the movements. Okay, for this activity, we want you to draw a line across the line paper. Okay, trying to keep it as near to the line as possible and repeat three times. Okay, two, go back to the start, three, and also to try drawing a different shape such as a circle or triangle. Okay, looking at the control of the pen as you do in the activity. We'll take a short pause there to go through the coaching points and hints and tips from the activity that we've just shown you. Amber Group, exercise three coaching points. With all movements, try to do as much as you can, but do not work to any pain or restrictions. Sit with your forearms fully supported at the table, and if you're able to, try to sit forwards in your chair. Hold the pen as you would do naturally and use a padded pen or a thicker marker pen or whiteboard marker to increase grip if you are struggling. Practice precision in the pen movements and the pen hold. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.